Alright guys, g'day, another beautiful day where people are just waiting, waiting to be offended. <laughs> so in the last 24 hours I've just gone through a whole heap of these skaters versus haters, skaters versus angry people and police and security in that videos, a skate plan, skateboarding, this channel as well, probably I'll do another 24 hours and then probably I won't watch them for a long time ever again. Because <laughs> when I cover people's like great work, I cover it all. Like so I'm going to go through all number 3 to number 20 or however many they have. And then, you know, obviously they don't produce it every day, so I won't be looking back for a while. Anyway, my point is that I watched, you know, a whole lot of these and I thought, you know, I have to do a video on this. And I thought, you know, here's a perfect segment. So we're going to dissect, on the basis of organic portals, are ill, you know, sick, illogical. Boy, am I glad someone created that word, huh? Illogical. <laughs> it's perfect. You know, ill means like sick, sick logic. So this is one way you know who is an organic portal, soulless human or self-spiritless human. These people defend the system, they are like the matrix infrastructure, they're always looking to get sold humans in trouble, agony for the Archons, because Archons want your, uh, you know, your pain energy, specifically, the Archons love um, knowing that they have their will and their power over you, and they love to see you and have you in pain, and so I thought, uh, you know, this is a really good example, uh, this next little segment of video, because... Well, let's see. Because it shows her using illogic. And look, my point is that I watched a whole heap of these videos, like 50 of them now, and I noticed that e almost, almost every, like 90% of the people who are angry at the skaters are organic portals. Not all of them. Some of the security guards and police were cool. You know, like you know, pretty calm and cool about it and, you know, just needed to tell people to get off the property and stuff. But they didn't act like, you know, for lack of a better word, absolute tosser dickhead fuckwits, right? You know what I'm talking about. So 90%, they were just absolutely absurd, you know, just absolute, you know, idiots. And, uh, you know, I realized, look, these people are organic portals. They're not just idiots or these names and monikers. And that sort of nomenclature that I could throw around, you know, like slang words, but they're organic portals, and, and this is important, and that's why I'm uh, saying this actual word, organic portals, because they act as human prison bars. It's like they've created the planet into a prison, and because uh, they don't have the imagination to forward vectorize and expand, and you know, all of society has been created from soul people. You know, from just some real quick examples, Descartes had an angel come to him, Rene Descartes, I think you all know him as the guy who created calculus at the rate that a graduate student learns it, he created it. You know, that's obviously, you can tell that's from vision. Francis Crick was on acid when he, you know, discovered DNA. You got, you know, three consecutive daydreams by Mendeleev, the guy who's created most of the periodic table of elements, yeah, Mendeleev, because he had a vision about the benzene ring, or three consecutive daydreams. So my point is that, you know, Descartes, he had a vision about an angel that said, you know, the conquest or the conquering of nature is to be done via number and measure. Then he created calculus, which is, you know, part of science, like it's a cornerstone. Right, it's an underpinning of like scientific methodology and so on, yeah? Numbers, maths, calculus, you know? So look, my point is that, you know, these people, they're not good for society. They, they you know, you might think at first maybe they are because they're upholding the law and all this, but any wall that keeps out danger keeps out progress. And look, I can go on about this. I've made other videos, so let's just get into the footage here. And I just thought this was a really good example to show you how organic portals are. And actually, this video series, I know it might seem very street, very slangish, and, uh, you know, not astute, and something you might not present at university or to upper class or something. 
Nevertheless, it is an excellent example for what we're talking about that organic portal solace humans can be identified via just how they use illogic or sick logic. Now I'm going to show you just this one example. But what I'm saying is if you watch all of these videos called skaters vs haters and skaters vs angry people and police and security and stuff, if you if you just you know YouTube all these the titles, skaters vs like haters basically you're going to come up with like 50 60 or more videos and if you watch all them then you'll understand um and this is only one example but there's many in those videos and then this is a good way to start to get a feel for um how organic portals are and when you're talking to one and in my opinion just ignore them uh because they're always trying to get you in trouble and and you know this this ends up uh, always in energy extraction via maybe you get a criminal record, then you can't get it as good a job. And look, this is part of gang stalking, which is, you know, demonic demons versus angels, basically. People of low vibration versus people of higher vibration. And that's why I find it funny, and I think this is a good example. That's why I find it funny that these people are always going so crazy at these skateboarders. I'm not a skateboarder myself. I'm a surfer. Of the ocean waves but i used to skate when i was young but uh you know that's trivial and beside the point my point is that that these skaters are always just having fun and then these random people and that's why you need to watch these videos right i've got no affiliation with these channels i'm not even a skateboarder right but this is why you need to watch these videos specifically the ones i'm showing you now skaters versus angry people skaters versus haters because they're really, really good examples of people in high vibration just having fun skateboarding and then all these people, you know, security cops and, and my the main point is all these random, like, just people of society, just random people who have no authority or titles. But you see, because they're of the family of dark, not the family of light, they want their will over your will. Yeah, they like to have power over another person. So that's family of dark, the will to power, and the will to power over another. So that's why I think these videos are really good examples, and here's just one example. So she just said he's being disgusting with his mouth. Well, listen, I, I understand that shit, fuck, and so on are, uh, you know, uh, ambiguous words they're ambiguous words and we insert them when we can't be bothered using better vocabulary and lexicon correct however they are just also descriptive words sometimes you say this or that is shit and you just mean inferior in quality and so on right so it's an ambiguous word yes but it still has uh, you know some sort of meaning with it so it's still a descriptor which is what all language is um, and look I find that organic portals are the only ones who care, who get so riled up about um, what people call profanities, yeah? Because if you swear at me, I, I don't even, like, it doesn't get me angry or anything. I don't care. It's just a word. See, I call these organic portals baby humans, and this is a really good example. When they get angry at language, it shows that they didn't evolve past grade three. See, in primary school in Australia, in grade three, we had a nursery rhyme. Yeah, they're, they're baby humans, you see. The nursery rhyme, they haven't even integrated that into their knowledge. What nursery rhyme? The following. Sticks and stones, they may break my bones, but words can never harm me. So they couldn't even get past grade three. Yeah, you are. How can you say my mouth is disgusting when it's not stupid? I didn't call you stupid, I said, I am not stupid. What? I'm really disgusting, apparently. Really now what? And see, they'll always come in with, uh, you know, calling him disgusting, that's uh, gang stalking, straight up, the way she's doing it. You see her vibration, she's trying to make him believe it. Did you see the vibration? I don't know, I see him vibration. And she's trying to make him believe it. That's called gas lighting. Yeah. Now he's smart enough and obviously just, you know, shrugs it off. But 
you can always see these organic portals because they come straight in with gang stalking style um, I could show you some other examples where you can actually see like their eye changes like demonic changes in their body structure and uh, kinesiology and so on and the energetic uh, you know structure and uh, you know they always come with gaslighting a lot they want to gaslight you and demean you and that's how you know they're a family of dark as well okay so I just thought I'd reiterate that point I'm not polite or something or I'm not kind or something See, he's right. He was being kind. He hasn't been rude. You see that? And she still calls him disgusting and so on. And wait, we're going to keep watching this footage. <laughs> that's ill logic yeah okay it's in front of a vehicle but usually if you say that you mean you know right in front of it not a hundred meters away I didn't throw it in front of your vehicle when did no. I throw it in front just of your now. vehicle just when? Now. just now yeah. when? so he definitely didn't throw it he fell off yeah so that's not logic that's not correct so that's ill logic you see my car what that car that's just came right scary. there? that's pretty scary Wait, what car? The one that just came through right there. You know what? I'm going to go talk to you. Is your mother Now she says, you know what? Instead of answering him, and I notice they always do that, they cannot go logic for logic in a uh, conversation. Now this is a very, very important point because the great Terence McKenna of the Time Wave Zero, yes, that guy, he said a culture of any sort, yeah, a culture cannot proceed or evolve beyond its communication ability it cannot a culture any culture cannot evolve faster than it can communicate and that's what they always do in conversation they never want a outcome that is uh, you know uh, nice or good they're actually trying to create problems almost all of the problems in our world are associated with this black alliance and I call them a black alliance because not because their skin color their obfuscated mind and their lack of consciousness yeah so they're a black alliance because it's light that is informational so they're never trying to form anything and you know they're trivial trifling humans enhancing mayhem we call them them t-h-e-m that's an acronym trivial or trifling humans enhancing or establishing mayhem and you can see that she'll reach, and there's another example in this, that's a double example, that's why I've stopped the tape here. Not only does she reach for another outside herself, I'm going to go talk to your mother. We're not going to solve it between you and me. I'm going to bring someone else in to, to this culture, me and you talking, your mother. I'm going to bring her into the situation because I can't deal with it myself because I can't you know, progress along the lines of logic. So you see that? She'll, they reach the organic portals. She's a perfect example. They reach for, you know, um, uh, outside of themselves. They reach for another person to come in and gang up. Gang stalking, yeah. Ganging up, yeah. They can't go one-on-one -on -one in logical conversation, you see. They can't go logic for logic because they know they'll lose. They must sense it at, to, to some degree. So I thought that's a good point there. She didn't answer him. When did I throw He said, remember, two seconds ago, he said, when did I throw it in front of your car? She didn't say, you know, anything. She said, oh, you know what, I'm going to ignore that and then I'm going to proceed to create the problem and reach for your mother and talk to your mother. Um, are you serious? Not what car? Did I, I didn't throw my skateboard at any car. Right? So what are you talking I'm about? I'm not going to get into his face. Is your mother home? No. I'm going to talk to her because obviously... Talk to her mother about him. Obviously... What? I, I didn't even throw... I didn't throw my... Obviously, I didn't throw my... Yeah, obviously. He, I can't. Or if I, don't, if I don't remember throwing my board... You can call the police. You can call the police. What are the police... There's another example of reaching outside of herself, calling the police for what, anyway? What, what would the police right there do? They've got footage that, you know, nothing happened. And yet she'll still revert to ill logic and reaching outside of herself. This is non-spiritual. 
that's horizontal yeah on the surface of matter but the uh, spiritual nature to be vertical in your own light column you know that's vertical on the cross of horizontal matter and organic portals are always reaching horizontal you see horizontal I, do. I didn't throw my board at anybody and she's also reaching for a control struct to control you know I understand. Are you talking about what yeah. my Now she understands that he fell, yet she's still calling the police. <laughs> Nothing was done to her property. There was no real problem. She came over to be trifling and create a problem. She is creating the problem here. Or we're flying in front of I don't like what you're doing to me right now. I'm asking you not to swear around little children. I'm not I, don't gonna s I didn't see the kid. I wouldn't have swore. If you like shouldn't it. be swearing anyway. There's little kids all over this neighborhood. Is that, a car? Is that the car that just came right here in my board? And I met They're also always trying to protect their children from reality. Just another little point on censorship. Because, it, well, it'll matter when you can't free speech. You'll care then. I stepped on the track and my board went flying in front of the car. I didn't throw it and I would never throw my... No, but how about G? I'm sorry. You, I'm you sorry, know that but... it's not even legal for you to be in the road like this. Do you understand well, that? He even just said sorry and she keeps going, completely ignored him. I think this is a fantastic enough example and I can stop the video here.